welcome everyone to some NFL stable for an action week four on a Saturday night here in Green Bay lefty will tee off to kick off to begin the proceedings here gonna be a tough opponent here in the Pittsburgh Steelers We'll see what happens. It's been an eventful week so far. Lots of good games. We've had a few overtime games. Had some. Have one undefeated team now left in the league. And there's going to be lots, <laughs> lots of storylines heading into week five. Nice ones right down the middle there. See if the Packers can get off to a better start this week. Rodgers giving it a run here. It's going a little right, but it should be playable. That'll hold on. The key is, is the keep that ball moving and not worry too much about your opponent Ooh, Steelers went way over oh and down oh wow we'll see what happens here with the Steelers four point attempt Well done. This would be big here for the Packers. You get enough of it? No. Nope. Not quite, but... Take that. We'll move on to the next. So we will be even starting off here. Packers do get a two point handicap due to their lower flight. Ooh, I like the sound of that one. Green Bay, one and two right now. Steelers are two and one. Still way early yet, but you want to keep pace in your division. And right now, the Bears are leading my division at three and one after another impressive week. Whereas the Steelers don't want to get behind the Bengals, who are three and one in that division and taking on the league by taking the league by storm right now. Going to be a little bit of beat left on that ball, and we'll see if the Packers can do a little better than that, as they got a pretty nice setup here. Liking the look of it, but the, didn't quite get all of that one. We'll see what the Steelers will do first. Ooh, left it a little shy of the goal line. This looks pretty flat. Gonna stay. Oh no, wide right. 
golden opportunity there. Oh my. Well, it's still even. And it's still only the f first quarter. Let's see what the pack can do here. Rogers got a piece of that one. Try to lead Devontae Adams. It's on its way. <clears throat> and well done. Very well done. See if the Steelers can match it. That's looking pretty good from Big Ben. Ooh, it's trailing off a little bit left. I think that will be the Steelers' opportunity here. There will be a little bit further out. Let's see if they can put a three on the board. And they did. What a nice roll. Nice work there for the Steelers. And the Packers match it. That's what was needed. Need more efforts like that. If you're gonna keep keep pace in this league. Ooh, like the sound of that. Yeah, after the update, definitely uh a lot more of a forgiving setup here with the master setting. Definitely, definitely liking it. I know a lot of there's some been some you know issues with the going back and forth, but I know on other streams it's been mentioned. You know, after a while it might get a little bit painstaking to have to switch back and forth as the season continues. But I just want to reiterate. It's only one round, and the settings are pretty easy to implement. It's just it takes a little bit of time to just get the initial setup going, but in the end, this is what we voted on, and the handicaps are based on master settings of what we shot last year in the, in the tours, and. To me, I just feel felt like that was the most fair way, no pun intended, to keep the competition level, at least between players of many different difficulties and different flights and ability levels. And you're going to have some duds. I mean, I had a dud, you know, last week against the Niners. Same course, same proponent. And that, that was a tough course, but at the same time, it's just, you know, it's only one week, you just got to put it behind you, and that's what the Packers are trying to do this week. You do get the marker setting for the putter putting in this, so that's the one difference with the tours, is they took away the marker, marker setting for the putter, which I like having it, but not everybody does. And it didn't work that time. Oh, it was little too strong oh my but the Steelers had a stumble as well on this hole so it looks like the Packers are gonna maintain an advantage oh I could have been a two-pointer two-point lead there but they'll, they'll take it still got the Hail Mary left and we just reached into the, the first quarter and it's the Packers up 10 to 9 we're gonna keep that advantage But I think as time goes on, I mean, I keep the same clubs for the tours and this. I just like the forgiving clubs, period. And I mix and match every club set there is in the game. I'm not beholden to any brands. I'm not sponsored by any brands. So at the end of the day, I just go with the clubs that match my distances that I like to have. And 
I want to thank you know Justin, uh, Love Scud, my old uh, partner with the Bengals in the Stableford Cup for his setup. I pretty much mimicked his bag because I like long irons. I, I like having a hybrid and. The only thing I really might have did differently was I kept my bridge my bridge rocks. I like the Bridgestone driver and I like the Bridgestone three wood, so it's the only thing I really kept. But we'll see what happens on this hole here. So we got quite a quite a test here. That slope isn't gonna help us, but see I don't even have a full hundred percent on the fairway here. So taking that into account, I'm going to go up a club and loft it a little bit. That might bite me, but we'll see what happens. And it did. Oh, no. Okay, well, I'm not as fearful about this shot as I would have been last week or two weeks ago before the update. So we'll see what happens here. Still should have feared it. Oh, the wall of sand got me that time. Darn it. But a nice recovery there. To minimize some of the damage. Let's see what the Steelers can do. A little bit wide. But it looks like they're going to get a point back. Oh, and they're going to have to putt again. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we needed that to drop. Oh, boy. Well, only got only could manage a single on that one. So, head to the, head to the next hole. Still going to be tied here. Drop the ball. It's the equivalent of not getting it on third and short. Yeah, probably worse than that, because that was probably like a third and really long getting out of that bunker. Alright, let's see here. I'm gonna try to use a slope. Give it a good crack. It's on its way. Oh come on! Oh ho 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 ho. We'll take that folks. We'll definitely take that. But to talk about that one on the McAfee sh on the McAfee show on Tuesday, that was well done. So is this though? Oh, almost! Wow! Boom! Right down the pipe. Three points on the board. Now we head to the stretch here in the second quarter. Packers can maintain the slight edge here. Likes the sound of it. It's going to make it through the defenders. Oh yeah. Stay, stay good, stay good. Right on the fret right on the edge, probably. That should work. Steelers had the same idea, but whoa, they're going to be a little bit further out in the... Oh, yeah, they're going to be in the heavy. For three on its way. Oh, well done. Oh, a little bit of a roll, but 
Definitely in the red zone. Definitely an opportunity there for the Steelers. you on at the home field oh no all right gonna be a tester <sighs> gotta get this close Kind of like a pre hail Mary, but we'll take it. We'll take that. <clears throat> See what the Steelers can do. Oh, that looks good. Oh, went wide right. So, looks like the Packers are going to get away with one here. And stay at least on pace with, with, with Pittsburgh here in the first half. Not a slight advantage. Uh oh, a little bit of a slow. Will that stay playable? We'll see. Oh, yeah, it will. I think there's a little. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Take that. Come the Steelers. About four minutes left here in the second quarter. They'll be right in the same spot, it looks like. Yep. Let's see if the Packers control them one here. on that one. Might have been too much. Come back. Oh, we'll take that. Oh, yeah. Green Bay will take that. Maybe a little further right than they would have liked, but not bad. Pittsburgh coming in nice. Oh, that's even better. Well done. I think the Packers can get the job done here. Just did not give it enough. Oh, wow. Steelers will be... T oh, no! Oh. Tough break there. Both teams having some issues punching it in. On this one. But, it's 18. For Green Bay, heading to the Hail Mary hole. A chance to gain some ground here. On this short four. Oh, I like the sound of it. How's the look of it? It's heading right towards it. It's on the green. That's perfect. We got a shot at it. This would be a huge eight-pointer if it could drop and would give the Packers the win if they could make this. That's a nice-looking shot, too. Holy wow. That's even better. Wow. Two nice-looking shots. Clutch putt. Time to clutch up here in Green Bay. I 
Got the chance. Is it got it? Boom! And the Packers will take it. Whoa, that's a big eight-pointer. And I think that might be enough. That might be enough. As we know, the Steelers did make theirs as well. So we're going to do a quick check here and see if the second half really means anything. It, of course it does, but the scoring could have been it. That could have been all that was needed, but we're going to find out. Oh, that was huge. Because we know the Steelers have 27 already on the board. And they have 5, 8, 9, 17 plus the 8. It's 25. Because I think they had a better second half is what I'm, was what I'm guessing. Because I don't think the first half was the one that, that was used. They are halftime stats, folks, brought to you by HB Studios. And we're just going to see, we're going to recap this first half here and see if the Packers did get enough here to pull this one out at home. So yeah, so yeah, the Steelers have 25 actually coming in. The Packers have 18, 18 plus the 8 is 26, plus their two points of handicap. It should be enough. That should be enough. As it's a 26 really on the board for Green Bay with the doubler. And then the two points. So the Packers, I believe, have this one, 28-27. And wow, what a performance just to pull that last putt out. Oh, that's the kind of... Those are the kind of things you need to do if you're going to take down good teams. And that's exactly what the Packers had to do this week. After the last two weeks of putting out some uh, <clears throat> stinky performances. So... Hope everybody enjoyed the halftime show. I did. Um, but wow, that was a that was a close one. That putt had to drop, folks. That that putt had to drop. That was like hitting Devante in the corner with no time left. Is exactly what that was. Actually, it was the hail mary. So I mean, Rogers is known for those. So it just it's just good. I guess it's just fitting that it happened there. Oh, got a leaker on this one. But yeah, this, this doesn't really matter, folks. We're playing this one out with, with, the, with the backups to get them some more uh, experience here at home. Uh, got some IR issues with some of our players, so we want to get these backups up to speed. But as far as this, this back um, nine is concerned, this is just to see if the Packers can improve on their total as they already pretty much have the match one. Oh, did I hit that? Oh yeah, we did. We'll take that. But good game of the Steelers and Big Ben. He's been under fire a lot recently. And I don't know if this game is really going to change that. Yeah, that was big. <laughs> wow. Does it come out even here in the to start off the second half? You're a cherry bluffs. Get up there. Uh oh. Going through some autumn foliage. Oh, not what you want, but Took a little risk there, and knowing the situation wasn't the end of the world. The Steelers got the job done here, though. That 
that's a nice shot. That's where you want to be. Packers got a little bit of extra work to do here. This looks this looks all right if it gets a big roll. Here we go. Here we go. Not bad. We'll take that. Comes the Steeler approach to the red zone. Oh, right on the money. This is looking really good. Well done. Well played. Oh, over hit. Ah, had an issue with that the last couple of weeks. Just over hitting things in the red zone. And Pat does the same, the Steelers. That's better. Take a two there. Packets is two for the Steelers. Still on an adrenaline rush after that hole. Wow. After that Hail Mary. Oh no. This is going to be trouble. Get a kick. Get a kick. Oh boy. Not really hitting the fairways now. This looks pretty good. That's oh, and that's a bad bounce. Two bad, two bad ones. And the Packers are gonna have a test here to get out of this. Ooh, that got knocked down. But it's on the doorstep at least. This looks really this looks better. Oh came right on back. Oh, I didn't get all of that one. But it's on the green. Probably if I would hit that one too far, it would have went. It would not have been very good. Oh, right over the, right over it. Oh. Oh, is it looking good? Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah. Flat stick was really on fire for me over the weekend in the tours. That's how I ended up getting it in the top ten of CCA, just to take a little bit off of the, a little bit off of the NFL here. So this game is pretty much already known with the big first half of the Packers. But yeah, not 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 really known. Not, not knowing what to expect going into week one of the tour season with the pro settings. I was just looking to just keep the ball in play, make my putts, and that's all that really was really what I did. Getting used to no marker yardage was a little bit of a difference, but if you keep in mind that the, the squares are three yards, you pretty much you know that. And you can just judge from there, based on the HUD. But the stick, the flat stick was on fire. Helped to get this new uh, mallet putter that I liked using in the last game, and I, you have to unlock it with the golf club uh, sponsorship, which thankfully they don't, they didn't take my putter away, because I've been hearing that some of the other clubs have been taken away from people, which is ridiculous, since you earn those clubs and they should be in your bag forever but this is not going to be good wow 
but we'll see if the Packers can bounce back from that shot. But yeah, there's just some if issues with this game at times that if it weren't for the NFL right now, I mean, in the tours, probably coming back to the pro setting, which is giving a lot of people more interest again. Yeah, it, I think this, it was time for them to announce a new game. Especially around the Ryder Cup, that would have probably been a perfect time. But, alas, it's not here. It's not here yet. We don't know when it's going to be here. I think I've had my enjoyment with this game. And I know EA's coming out, what, in March? So, you want to really beat them to the punch if you can. I mean... Let's see, we want to add some more DLC. I mean, the DLC for this game has pretty much run its course. And now they're just repackaging stuff. But, you know, it would be great to maybe see maybe that they could have released Whistling Straits as an official course. That would have maybe been nice. But nothing against the TMT version because it was really darn good. As I was actually out on the course. And I think they pretty much, he pretty much nailed it. But Andrew's a good designer too, so... He's a former league member. Oh no, this is not going to be good. Well, at least it's, at least it's in play. But it's just one opinion for me, and that's how I feel about it. Oh, and that's well done by the Steelers right in the middle. Well done. To me, if you earn something in the game and you grind it for it and you earned it, you should keep it no matter what happens down the road. If they take it behind a paywall, that's 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 Madden type stuff there. That's EA type stuff. You don't want to be like that. You know, EA will have their microtransactions and HP has theirs as well, but golf needs to be accessible for everybody, and the clubs that you win in the game, those need to stay in your bag. Not everybody has $30 to waste on DLC, even though I already did in this game twice, but only because I supported HP because of what I do with this league. And the fact that I was having a lot of fun with this game, but then when they nerfed it twice, that that might have been a bridge too far for many people. For me, it was, hey, I got to deal with it. I'm on the tours. I dropped a flight because of it, because I just could not get the swing down. And... It cost me from being in Kinetic down at CCA, which I'm not gonna cry about it. It's not that big of a difference, but at least I got to keep my spot in Happy Tea Friends, <laughs> which I even told Kevin. I said, "Hey, if you don't need me, let me know." But it sounds like he's got a waiting list of people, and now I feel kind of like an idiot that I'm in there with all these other guys that want to get in. So, my 48 under this week hopefully bought me an extra week. <laughs> but I know why Kevin wants me in, because he knows I get my rounds in, and he knows he can trust me. So, but I guess, you know, I don't feel like I'm taking anybody's spot. Just like I don't want anybody to feel like I'm taking anybody's spot in the NFL stable for a league. Because it's my league. <laughs> no. Really, it's just, you know... This is the keep your mind off of what the stuff in the going on in the world. This league was what was going on before the pandemic, before all the crap that happened. So, and I'm hoping it continues a lot longer after. As the NFL season is always a fun season to to take part in, and your league mates and everybody have a good time with this and. 
Right now the Packers and Steelers are just playing out the second half here. We're heading into the fourth quarter. Steelers are up on the scoreboard, but I believe after we confirm everything is said and done, the Packers should have pulled out a hard-earned victory at home due to what their efforts were in the first half. And that was a the very nicely done shot there. Using that slope really nice. Oh, we'll see if Green Bay can match that. Because I think it's along the same lines here. Is it going to slow down and come over? <laughs> Look at that. Not bad. Not bad. So I want to shout out Steve Rowland on this course. I thought he did a really good job with this one. Captures that Wisconsin mystique in the, in the fall very well. Um, did a very good job on this one. Maybe getting, maybe we'll get this one out on tour. As it is a tour worthy course. And we are heading into the fall here in Wisconsin. I think it would look really nice out on CC. Or in one of the tours. Plate and plug. I mean, I've played on all the big designer courses. I've played on Ben Page courses. I've played on all the other, you know, played all the courses that have been. Not all of them. There's just so many good courses being released nowadays. It's just hard to play them all. But in our league, you get to pick your own home course. And the fact that I was able to shout out a local Midwestern designer. And get to get him out in this league and get him some publicity here on Twitch. I thought that was a worthy thing to do. And he even gave me a goal pack goal, and I said I picked this course. So now I'm really, now I'm really all in. Is this is really all in if it goes in the hole? Oh, just passed. Nice approach for the Packers there. Get Pat's second. Ooh, it's got a little, little bit more mustard on it. That's gonna roll a little further past. But the trees, the foliage, everything it's, gets a good, gives me a good Wisconsin northeastern vibe. Nice, nice shot there. Kind of like what Old Oakham Village did when I was using that in uh, the second season, I believe, of the league. Just has a lot less sand than that course did though. But we're here at the final final hole. Final opportunity here to put some points on the board. Nice shot there. Glad that we probably won't have to use a tiebreaker for this this one. So many tiebreakers this week, it's not even funny. We got rid of, we added a tiebreaker this year because there was some controversy about the home team getting an automatic win in a tie situation, which to me that should not have been, but it's just, you know they're kind of the, the rules we had at the time. And that was controversial too. I mean, either way, you're going to have controversy with tiebreakers and things like that. You just try to do it the fairest way that you can. So I have this way of doing the tie, kind of like the, basically like a first to how many points threshold. And the problem is the, the threshold sometimes gets met at the same time in the same number of holes. And when the points are calculated, it's like, do you overrun the hole? Do you overwrite the previous hole, or how do you, or do you just start over? And to me, I start over. I just, if you score seven, it's first to six. So if you score eight in your first three holes, and your opponent scores seven in the first three holes, you're getting the six at the exact same time, in the same amount of holes, in my opinion. 
So that's how I do the tiebreakers. And then if you get the six at the same time, you go to three. And it's just to mimic the NFL going from a touchdown to a field goal after each team gets their first possession. That's all it is. Nothing nefarious, nothing under the table. It's exactly how I do it. So we may, you know, cost a, cost ourselves a member because of some of the some of that uh, technique. But at the end of the day, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna apologize for trying to make the league at least a little bit more exciting and just saying, well, hey, the heck with it. It's a tie. You know, just leave it, give it to the home team. It's like the NFL very rarely has a tie. It's like three times in like five years are there ties in the NFL. So if we can eliminate that, I'm all for it. And the Packers go two for two on the Hail Mary. So, oh, hey, might not have been, hey, 22 both ways. You really can't complain with that, with that scoring. But we're going to get to the final here in just a moment as the Steelers finish out. But wow. What a, what a matchup this was. I'm going to turn the sound off here and give a little bit of a wrap up. Wow, what a game that was. We're going to check the scorecard. <laughs> two pretty well done uh, performance. Two well, two really good performances out there today. But Pat Strife, wow. Just a, just a heck of a performance to get to 27 in the back. To pull, you know, to pull that very close... <laughs> We'll take a screenshot of this and report this score. And wow, can't really uh, say it much more. But how 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 clutch that first half was for Green Bay, and that putt to get that four was just the difference in the game. As you see, the back nine um, just. Going off on a tangent and talking for that back nine, I didn't realize I was going on a birdie birdie run. Did not realize that at all. <laughs> but it, it ends up the second half scoring as we look at the stats. Uh, it's the Packers who end up getting a 22 raw score, plus you add the three on the doubler, that's a 25, and they would have had 27 with the two point handicap. Which so really the Packers matched them on the back. 27 and the Steelers ended up getting a 27 of their own on the back after you double their 18 toll so at the end of the day the back nine was all square as I have a two-point handicap against Pat Pat gets a zero for being in platinum but the Packers are gonna win this one or have won this one by the final score of 28 to 27 here at Cherry Bluffs in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So, for all our HB Studios crew who got you this game together via the goal system and this this game's this game uh, mechanic, I want to thank you for joining us, joining me, Lefty79, as the Green Bay Packers have now even their record to two and two in the NFC Central. I mean, the NFC North, I should say. Uh, so, within a game now of the Bears, who have now taken the lead in that division at 3-1, and one, and are now tied with the Minnesota Vikings at 3-1, and one, who lost this week. So, the Packers are able to gain a game in the standings, which is huge. And the Pittsburgh Steelers, on the other hand, will drop to 2-2 two and two in their division, uh, which is the AFC North. And they will be now trailing the Cincinnati Bengals at 3-1 and one in that division. So lots of great NFL stable for on the way this season. Uh, 
a big win. Hopefully this portends uh, what, what is to come in real life tomorrow here on sun on Sunday. So thank you for joining the Green Bay Packer NFL Stableford Network. This is Lefty79 saying see you next time. And thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody.